Hey there, and welcome to the world of ocarina playing. If you've just received your very first ocarina, congratulations. In this video, we're gonna walk you through exactly what you can do in the first five minutes after unboxing your new ocarina. From holding it correctly to making your first beautiful sounds, we've got you covered. And if you're still in the process of picking out your ocarina, don't worry, you can check out our guide on how to choose the perfect one by clicking the link in the corner. All right, let's dive in. Holding your ocarina. Holding your ocarina properly is key to making it sound great and keeping your hands comfortable while you play. So whether you have a 6-hole or a 12-hole ocarina, I've got you covered. First things first, if your ocarina came with a neck strap, use it. It's a great way to keep your ocarina safe while you're getting used to handling it. Just make sure the knot on the strap is secure before you put it over your head and let the ocarina hang comfortably around your neck. The 6-hole ocarina. For those of you with a 6-hole ocarina, here's how you'll want to hold it. Positioning. Most six-hole ocarinas are small and rounded, but they can come in all sorts of shapes. Hold the ocarina with one hand on each side, mouthpiece facing you. Left hand. Place your left thumb at the back of the ocarina and cover the thumb hole. Your index and middle fingers should cover the top holes. Right hand. Same idea here. Your right thumb should cover the thumb hole at the back, while your index and middle fingers cover the top holes. Pro tip. Take a quick look to make sure your fingers are flat, so the pads of your fingers cover the holes completely. The 12 hole ocarina. Now if you have a 12 hole ocarina, the technique is a bit different. Positioning. 12 hole ocarinas are usually larger, sometimes elongated or more complex in shape. Imagine holding a sideways recorder. Your left hand will come from underneath, and your right hand from the top. Left hand. Place your left thumb on the back to cover the thumb hole and use your index, middle, ring, and pinky fingers to cover the top holes. Right hand. Place your right thumb on the back to cover the thumb hole and use your index, middle, ring, and pinky fingers to cover the top holes. Pro tip. Keep an eye on your fingers to ensure they're covering the holes properly for the best sound. We would recommend that you keep your fingers flat so it's easier to cover the holes completely. General tips for both types. Whether you have a 6-hole or a 12-hole ocarina, these tips will help you play comfortably and sound amazing. Tip 1. Relax. Keep your hands relaxed. No need to tense up. This will make playing more comfortable and improve your sound quality. Tip 2. Check your mouth position. Place your lips around the mouthpiece, making sure you have a good seal for proper airflow. Tip 3. Breathing. When you blow into the ocarina, do it steadily and with control. Try blowing like you're saying, you. This helps focus your airflow. Adjust your breath depending on the note you're playing. Stronger for high notes, lighter for low notes. Use your ears to listen for a clear, pure tone. If it sounds quiet or a bit off, focus your airflow more. Don't be shy. Ocarinas need air to really sing. Tip 4. Practice. Take some time to play around with your grip, finger placement, and airflow. It might take a bit to find what's most comfortable and produces the best sound, but with practice, it'll become second nature. Tip 5. Posture. Whether you're sitting or standing, make sure your ocarina is at a height and angle that feels natural. No need to strain your arms or hands. Maintain a straight head position and keep your chin level. Avoid lowering or raising your chin for best posture. With a little practice, holding and playing your ocarina will feel like second nature, and you'll be making beautiful music in no time. If you found this video helpful or if you have any questions, drop a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Happy playing.